What's up everybody? Welcome to my garage. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all crushing life. Now as you saw in one of my last two videos, we took my buddy's vehicle, his sweet, sweet ride that's new to him, and we're gonna do a sweet budget build, quote unquote, budget build on this baby that's mostly stock. So I'm super curious to see what you guys would have done differently, what mods you would have prioritized, but this is what we're gonna do. But first I realized we haven't even shown you all the ride yet, what car we're gonna be working with. So let's get it out into the semi-partial sunny day and show you all what we got. But first let's see if you can guess based on the startup. It is a stock exhaust currently it's a 2019 and it's a German two-door coupe there's no remote start bear with me ah. context though they sell about 18,000 of these per year that's what makes this budget build so interesting it's fairly common and in my opinion it is the type of vehicle that you want to do some cool customizations to make it unique to you that's what we're doing Pretty sweet, right? Now, like I mentioned, it's not a super rare car, but it is the cousin to a car that I really want, the Audi R8. So spending some time with this Audi S5, I'm kind of excited about because obviously the interior is very similar to an R8. And it's gonna be super fun to do some tweaks and adjustments to this thing to make it, make it stand alone just a little bit. He's not looking for some unique purple plaid wrap. He wants something classy, something subtle, but something unique, something fun, something's different. It kind of stands alone, but not everybody's gonna go, whoa, what the heck is wrong with that guy? So that's our goal in this build. So we're gonna take this over to Four Horse and get into it and show you all the parts that we got get them installed and we're gonna see how different this looks after these mods and when I say budget I mean carbon fiber is not the cheapest budget modification now the reason I say it's mostly stock is it has HRE wheels which came with it when he bought it and then he also did some black badging on the vehicle this is what he did and then on the interior just a couple simple things the steering wheel cover and then a carbon fiber cover piece over this otherwise this thing is pretty much stock which is exciting all right, hold up. We got to stop and thank today's video sponsor, Car Keys Express. Now, whether you have one vehicle or multiple vehicles, at some point you're going to need a copy or replacement key made. And I can say personally how expensive it is to go to a dealership because they have the special equipment, the special technology, the computers to make your keys work with your vehicle. Well, fortunately for us, Car Keys Express has technologies that's changing the game to save us money. Now, I bet you didn't know this, but Car Keys Express is the world's largest key replacement company. And now for the first time in history, you don't have to leave home to replace your key. You can either use their snap key process or one of their experts will come to you for an on-site installation. Now with SnapKey, it couldn't be easier. You simply take a picture of your key and a new key is cut and shipped directly to you, along with their do-it-yourself installer to quickly and easily make it work with your car. And you can save up to 75% off of dealership pricing. And it works with remote keys, standard keys, even smart keys. Now with on-site installation, if you just prefer to have someone do it for you, their fully trained expert technicians cover thousands of neighborhoods up to 90% of US households. All you gotta do, make an appointment. It just couldn't be easier. Make sure you check out Car Keys Express, hit the link below, save yourself 10% off, and thanks to Car Keys Express for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the project. All right, let's get this thing to Four Horsemen and get it taken care of. Also, it's early, but stretching, it's overrated. It's actually not, stretching is very important. Let's go, baby. Obviously, one of the main reasons I love this thing, not just the fact that it's super clean and nice and new, but also super roomy, plenty of room for a big guy, 66280, no big deal, start, stop button here. Obviously, it's a very subdued, refined start, but you got the console up here in the dash, which I've heard is mixed review. Some people like it, some people don't, but you also have this screen right there, which is super nice, control it all here all good to go but just overall the interior on this thing super nice and i love the seats right here they're super clean nice touch it's also loaded with carbon fiber on the interior but if you noticed on the exterior there's no carbon fiber which is something that i think we need to remedy you got the drive select down here which gives you comfort auto dynamic and individual obviously we're going to keep it in dynamic throw it into gear e brake is off and we're rolling out i don't even got to worry about the driveway all right let's check the get up and go in this baby easy on the turn and we're warmed Oh yeah, oh yeah, that goes, that's nice. It's very nice and I can see how if you're driving, it's early, you're just not awake yet and you want a subtle, cool, smooth ride, luxurious but yet semi-modest, this is the perfect vehicle. However, sometimes you leave a meeting and you need to let it rip. I mean the exhaust, let the exhaust rip. We might need to fix that too. We're gonna see if we can get any echo off of the uh, wall here. Nothing, no echoes. Sorry buddy, you know I had to get some Mickey D's breakfast in your ride. I won't get any crumbs inside, I promise. Thank you. Thank you. Cause this ride ain't mine, I'm not gonna do them dirty, I'm not gonna eat this in the car. We're gonna get Four Horsemen, respect the process. Thank you. Fortunately for me, McDonald's and Four Horsemen are right next to each other, so my breakfast's gonna stay warm. 
I think that is a fitting pair right there. Those two were just meant to be parked next to each other, right? And of course, you can't forget all of the colorful options we got here. By the way, I asked these guys if they wanted any Mickey D's. They said no. In fact, they ignored my text effectively. Okay, they didn't ignore it, but they were fine. They didn't need any breakfast. KP, John, we're here. We're doing the Audi build. We're all set. We're ready. My buddy doesn't know exactly what we're doing. We've talked about ideas, but he doesn't know everything. So it could get interesting. It's a beautiful day. It's gonna snow soon though. Now I had to run home to get some stuff done real quick, but we're gonna swing back over to Four Horsemen in about three seconds, check out the parts, and get to work on the build. I mean, watch them. I'm not doing the, watch them do the build. Actually, Subaru's in the way. We'll take the Shelby. Okay, so we're in the back corner of the Four Horsemen warehouse and it's super quiet right now. So I'm a little self-conscious, but I want to explain to you what we're doing with this build, how it's working. You see, here's what happened. A few months ago when my buddy bought this S5, I was talking to him and said, oh, are you going to do anything to it, Mata, in any way? He said, I, I don't know, maybe a few things. And of course that got me talking, started talking about what he could do, different things. We started spitballing ideas and then I said, how much are you looking to spend? And he said, I don't know, maybe two or three grand. And then at this point, I got all excited. I got into the build. And I said, hey, how about this? You cut me a check for three grand and I'm gonna surprise you with the build. How about that? And he agreed, even though he's seen some of my style choices, AKA purple plaid Raptor. So what we're gonna do is first off, we're gonna spend more than three grand and Burt is gonna cover the difference because I'm so excited about this build. And of course, I'm curious if y'all would have prioritized the same items within this budget or if you would have gone a totally different direction. Make sure you comment below because I'm learning here every day, every day smarter. But let's go check on the progress. We dropped it off yesterday. Wheels are done already and I am super stoked already for the wheels. We have a problem with some of the carbon fiber, like a big problem. Dude, nailed it. Pretty clean. So one of the easiest things we're doing is he has a glass roof right here, obviously, and the rest of this was the gray paint. So we're just gonna finish the roof so it's all black. This was your idea, great idea, right? Yep. Style popping. If there's anything. Dude, this is sick already. This was paint right here, and already that's just such a clean look for the roof. But check out the wheels, folks. As you recall, these are still the HRE wheels that we had, but we had them powder coated to the shiny satin bronze finish. And I think just that alone makes this car super sick and stand out on the road. Now I'm gonna break out the cost and labor for all this as we go along, put it on the screen. So as you follow along, if you're thinking about some builds for your car, you can see what we've done. Now, obviously every car and mod is a little bit different. It's built differently, obviously. So this is all related to a 2019 Audi S5. Now, one problem we do have is we have the rear diffuser carbon fiber right here. And as you can see, it's all busted up like this. It came like this in the box. The upside is the manufacturer already sending us a new piece. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this on by the time we're done with everything else and have to give it back to the owner. But the upside is we actually secretly have a phase two to this build that we're going to do in a separate video ahead. And so if needed, we can put the rear diffuser on at that time. We're swapping out these black mirror caps for some beautiful carbon fiber. This stock spoiler is just not cutting it. I think we need to put in some more carbon fiber. KP, you got the goods? Got the goods. Before we put on the carbon fiber, we gotta clean up the residue left over from the stock spoiler. And just like that, more carbon fiber. We didn't want to do a crazy wing, something subtle, but just this compared to the stock, A, it's carbon fiber, and B, it's a little bit bigger, a little more aggressive. That looks super clean. This is coming together so nicely. I'm super excited, but we still got a few more bits to sort out. We're gonna finish this up tomorrow. We're back, baby, and this is looking so prime. I'm super stoked. It looks simple, but it's a massive change, massive upgrade. This carbon fiber front splitter right here, super easy, super clean to put on. But again, carbon fiber, it just ups the level, ups the game. I love how it wraps around all the way and then goes up a little bit as well. That's just perfect. Now, as part of this whole build, we're doing some cleanup as well. There was a huge dent right by the driver's side door that obviously every time we got in the car, it drove me crazy because you could see it. So we called the dent guy. He's a magician. That dent is nearly gone. It was super big. So you got any dents anywhere? You call this guy. He'll get you taken care of. Are you mobile? I am. Anywhere in the valley from Ogden to Provo. Provo he's Park your guy. City, Tooele, Grantsville. Perfect. We all know we hate those stupid dents. You get all this carbon fiber on, and you got a dent by the driver's door. Get that fixed up, get that cleaned up. Call the dent guy. Now we're gonna let them button up the front splitter, then we're gonna come back, pick it up, take it to my buddy, see what he thinks, and also talk about phase two of the build, because this is only part one. We went with cosmetic, but there's other things we could do to make it so much sweeter. Yeah. Ooh, Ferrari, it's just different. 
How you doing? Thank you. All right. We're back. It is done, baby. Super excited with this. All right. Thanks, man. It's quiet, I know, but just wait. Now, one thing you guys can definitely hear is we need an exhaust because it's got some speed, it's got some performance, but there's just no audio fulfillment in this ride. Nothing crazy, still classy, still tasteful, but we need more. Gotta get it cleaned up for the delivery, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna go deliver it to Drew right now. Unfortunately for Drew's, we don't got time to try it, so we're gonna go with the old fashioned air dry at speed here. He actually does not know we have a phase two. He thinks phase one is, is all there is. So I'm excited to give this to him. And again, this was kind of a quote unquote budget build for an S5. I know thousands of dollars isn't necessarily a budget build. And one thing to comment as well, we could have saved a lot of money on labor, right? If you're looking to really do a budget build on the S5, you can buy the carbon bits and they look sick. And a lot of you can put them on, but I, time, energy, F, resource, the whole thing is like, for me, it made more sense to just get it done at Four Horsemen, and I appreciate that they got this taken care of. But that's one aspect where you could save some money on the S5 build, but still, carbon fiber, it's never cheap. So I guess we're gonna call phase one an S5 carbon fiber budget build, kind of. I gotta tell you what, I loved having the Audi, but man, I've missed my Shelby F-150. That truck is a beaut. But even more important than that, we're here to golf, baby. Yeah, now the price for all this is we gotta put you on camera. I'm here. But we respect the Druzer because he's got the beard and he's got the hair. Oh, I love the rims, dude. Okay, that was the one thing we didn't really talk about. I was a little nervous. Now the upside is everything we did, we can take back to how it was. We could put the rims black again. I mean, these are, right? Yeah, yeah. So we got the carbon front lip there on top of the existing front lip. So it's just a, it's really just double taped on but that's how they do mods. You're not gonna remove that, that's that's primo. Carbon fiber mirror caps. We took off the stock mirror cap and we put this on. So it's an actual carbon fiber piece. We did the roof. So obviously this was all black. So we did this black vinyl with the antenna as a black vinyl. And then we did the carbon fiber. Again, a conservative, nothing yeah. crazy, nothing yeah. too excessive. Just a nice, clean carbon fiber here. Now, the catch of it is, is this is phase one. We have phase two still. This is not everything. So we have to do a car swap another day because one piece broke and there was one piece we intentionally did not put on. So we have to do this again. Stay tuned, phase two coming soon. Coach in the house, what's up? up Winter Golf League. We are round, what round is this? Round five or six. Tournament five or six. Coach is in the lead. Yours truly in second. This guy carrying up third. 18 pole folks. Drew and Burlacher tied for the lead going into 18. This is it, this is for all the money. Seal it. Congrats. Congrats to Drew on the Winter Golf League win and also congrats on the new whip. This is looking clean. The carbon fiber, the wheels, oh so pretty. But listen to the audio. That's tame, that's calm, that's respectful, but you know, he's driving away, you don't even know. It's just too quiet. Unlike, unlike this. We gotta fix his Audi. Phase two coming soon. Love that Audi, but it feels good to get my 770 horsepower Shelby F-150 back, baby. Oh, 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 oh,